Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a skincare haul. So I haven't done a haul on my channel before, but I have collected a few new items. So I thought I would just share them all with you and I'm going to be testing these out and doing reviews, hopefully in the near future. So also comment down below, make sure to tell me which review you on which product you would like to see first. So without further ado, if you would like to see my skincare haul for acne and acne prone skin, then just keep on watching. All right, so the first thing that I picked up, I went ahead and got the Herbivore Pink Cloud Cleanser. I went and picked this up just because I'm running out of my Holy Frog Superior Omega Cleanser. So I'll also probably have an empties video coming up. So I saw this and I've heard nothing but great things. So I really wanted to try it out and see if there is any hype. And I just also think it looks really pretty. Love the glass packaging. It is basically just a face wash. It's a multitasking face wash that gently melts away makeup, removes impurities, and hydrates for clean and balanced skin. And some of the highlighted ingredients include some rose, hydrosol, I guess it just hydrates the skin, the tremella mushroom, which hydrates and helps skin maintain moisture, and of course, squalene, which helps to remove makeup. So I'm really excited to use this during the day, but mostly at night on the nights where I am using my retinol and when I am not using kind of like an AHA or BHA exfoliant, something calm, and I think it'll also be great for the morning. So super excited to try this out. I've tried it once so far. I really like the texture. Hopefully it doesn't break me out, but so far so good, and I can't wait to keep on using Using this so sticking in the cleanser family so I got this little fresh set also at Sephora so this is the fresh soy face cleanser for all skin types and again rich in amino acids another product that has been highly talked about has amino acids and soy proteins to help maintain skin elasticity and suppleness cucumber extracts to aid in soothing the skin and rose water for its calming and balancing properties so this has just been it's a lightweight gel cleanser and again it's just been a cult favorite so I'm super excited to try it and even in this little sample size and kind of going off of that it came in like a little set so it also came with this Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. The full size of this retails for $50. This came in a set so I have to kind of check what the price on this was but it's just a lightweight daily moisturizer powered by antioxidant rich super lotus that targets the first signs of aging for resilient radiant youthful looking skin and it targeting more for like anti-aging so fine lines and wrinkles dryness and dullness so the highlighted ingredients here are Super Lotus, which targets the first signs of aging, the starfruit leaf extract, which smooths the look of skin and reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles, and of course hyaluronic acid, which again, we love hyaluronic acid. And another thing that came in this set, so I'll probably run through this set first, just they are tiny sample sizes, but I am very... This I'm very excited for, it is the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. This is a anti-pollution treatment essence with antioxidant rich kombucha for smooth and luminous skin. And it's supposed to help with dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles, and just overall skin dullness. So it says the kombucha helps to visibly smooth and increase luminosity and protect against pollutions and free radicals. So we love that, especially during the day. And then it has hyaluronic acid and mandarin peel extract, which helps promote an even looking complexion. So I've heard nothing but good things, especially about the use of the cleanser and and the essence so I'm super excited to try them another one in the kind of toner family is the Ren ready set glow daily AHA tonic so it is just an AHA toner and I've seen so many great things I know like Alex Garza on YouTube and she like swears by this so the ingredients include lactic acid willow bark extracts so there's a BHA in there so I love when products either cleansers or toners or shams combine AHAs and BHAs I feel like that works super best for me and my skin rather than kind of just not coupling them together I don't know why maybe it's just all in my head azelaic acid is in here which I was super surprised about which boosts visible radiance and even the appearance of skin tone so azelaic acid is also great for acne and acne prone skin it's a great ingredient also for dark spots and hyperpigmentation so this combined with the willow bark extract and the lactic acid I think is just gonna be amazing so another thing in the BHA AHA kind of acid family that I'm also 
super excited to try. I've been eyeing this for months and years and I just finally decided to take the plunge actually when I bought this cleanser just because I got the small size. I'm like, it can't hurt. So this is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. So another product that people swear by and I love this just because of all the acids that are in here. This is just the Universal Daily Peel. I didn't get the extra strength just because I wanted to see how my skin kind of took to this first. So the ingredients that really kind of drew me to it is my girl glycolic acid. We have witch hazel. I know some people have a problem with witch hazel. I personally don't. My skin's fine with it. It doesn't over dry me and I don't use it too much. But if you want to stay away from witch hazel, this has it. So just so you know. Then it also has salicylic acid in here and then it has lactic acid as well. So that's in step one. In step two, it has retinol ascorbic acid. So that's like for vitamin C. Again, surprised that you can combine those two ingredients. I'm still learning about like things you can and can't combine like more and more. I feel like new things and studies are coming out. So I was always taught that retinol and vitamin C you can't put together if I'm not mistaken. So, but I guess formulated right, this is great. So super excited to see that ascorbic acid and retinol in here. Super excited to try these out just because it has a lot of great actives in here. I'm hoping I like this because it'll just really cut my routine down and I won't have to use as much. Not that I use a lot, but I just like really love trying products. So I would love to use this because just, you know, just to make it easy. So the next one is this fourth ray beauty aha moment exfoliating enzyme mask. So I picked this up on the fourth ray slash color pop website. And I like this just because it looked like more affordable alternative to some of my other highly loved AHA masks. Um, the, the ordinary one's really good too. But I just wanted to try this out and it has some highlight ingredients here include papaya enzymes So known for having exfoliating properties has my girl glycolic acid in here So I'm super excited, you know anything for glycolic acid I jump for and I'm super excited and also has lactic acid in here and cranberry seed polish And you leave it on for five to ten minutes and then just rinse it off But I'm super excited and I just think it is really cute and again just another affordable alternative to like the peach and lily one Just want to see if it's just as good as the ordinary or if it's worth it so super excited to try this out once a week as well again disclaimer i'm not using all these acids in one night or in one routine everyone do not do that you are going to over sensitize your skin thank you so much <laughs> how many things can i drop take a shot every time i drop something super excited to try this out so that's all i can say and Take another shot because I just dropped a lip gloss. Last couple of acids in here. This one I've already been trying, but I thought I would just throw it in here. This is the Monday Born Rebirth Exfoliating Serum with Lactic Acid. So this is actually the brand by Tenny Petrosian. Petrosian, I'm butchering her last name. I'm so sorry, Tenny and Tenny Stands. It is a serum with lactic acid and it also has great ingredients like niacinamide. I also got her toner. It's called the Source Toner and it has like 79% Centella Asiatica and I've tried this already and so far I really really like it as a serum I kind of wanted to see if it was just as good or how it was compared to my holy grail which is the pharmacy honeymoon glow but so far I really really like this and I think it is just like a hidden gem and I see no one talking about this but the rebirth is so good like I think I'm gonna do a full-on review of just this by itself maybe coupled with the toner and my girls who can't do glycolic acid lactic acid is another great aid just because it's a little bit bigger of a molecule size so it's better if you have more sensitive skin lactic acid she's, she's creeping up as my favorite AHA so next I guess I'll just kind of do two at the same time this is the day these are two vitamin C serums this is one I got in a set for Christmas and this as well well this actually got in a boxy charm and I'm iffy on this brand if I'm being honest so this is the Byron tomato serum and this is just basically their version of a vitamin C so it has that L ascorbic acid in there and then this is one by beauty bio the daily intensive vitamin cocktail serum another vitamin c so super excited to try these out i am more excited to try the beauty bio one just because i know they have that whole retinol system my mom swears by it so i kind of want to try that next once i get through this other retinol i'm looking at right now i'm probably going to try this first again before i try this because of how small it is but this byron like it looks really pretty like it reminds me of like a lava lamp 
I'm very suspect just because, I don't know, I've heard like some weird things on YouTube like is this a scam brand and it's like super expensive for like no reason. This is like $150 if I read that right on the BoxyCharm card and I'm like why? Why are you so much money for a vitamin C? And I thought my glow recipe one that's like $50, like I'll, I'll buy that every day instead of this one just for the price alone. Has anyone tried this brand? Let me know. Do you like their products? I'm still gonna try it just to see but I'm just a little bit suspect and I don't know why. Beauty Bio, I'm super excited about. Serum that delivers antioxidant protection while brightening the skin, which I guess is what most vitamin C serums do. I'm not even gonna read these ingredients and pretend that I know what they are technically, but super excited to try out the Beauty Bio Serum. So that is it for the vitamin Cs. We only have a few more products to go. Six, six more products to go, but I'll kind of couple all of these. These go in one category and then these. Okay, so now for our last two things of the haul. I would say categories. So one of them is this Turium Alpha Arbutin 2% and this has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in it formulated with 2% Alpha Arbutin which is supposed to help fade the appearance of dark spots caused by inflammation and environmental stressors. So this is supposed to be really good for hyperpigmentation and I'm really excited to use this to see if it helps fade some of my acne and dark marks. I actually wanted to do the 1% essence but they were out of it so I figure might as well just jump in and get the serum so I'm super excited to use this especially in conjunction with my retinol I have also picked up a new retinol so I'm super excited to use this in combination with this new retinol I got so this is the Shawnee Darden retinol reform serum so I decided to pick this up just because my other retinol that I love from drunk elephant is running out now's the time to kind of try a new new one and I wanted to try and find one that's a little bit more cost effective and I didn't even look at the price like a fool until I got to the counter because I just got swept up in buying presents for like some other people and I also didn't see that on Sephora's website they have a mini size for like $30. They didn't have it in store but I would rather have tried the $30 one. Like I always say, get the samples if you can. Don't be a fool like me, save your coins. So I hope this is worth it because for this full size, it is $88. So I decided to pick this up because one, for the ingredients, and it says for dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles, acne and blemishes, and it has encapsulated retinol 2.2% to support that natural collagen and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, dark spots, acne scars, and uneven texture. All things I have and want to get rid of. Also, which I thought was really interesting, has 2% lactic acid in here. So I figured that is amazing and probably is going to really help. So that really attracted me to this formula. And it also has apple fruit extract to help reduce visible signs of aging and provide antioxidant protection. So what intrigued me about this product in general is I saw actually on Sean Garrett's Instagram. I love him. He has like beautiful skin and always has amazing recommendations. And he said, although pricey, he's like, this is worth it. And one of the best retinols he's tried. So I'm really excited. And he said he also loves pairing it with the Naturium Niacinamide Serum, which I have. And also I heard combining alpha arbutin and retinol together is amazing and does really good things. So once I kind of try this on its own and see how it is, I'm excited to either incorporate either this or the niacinamide together. Also, can we just take a look at these packaging right here of Naturium and they look pretty, like they have the same vibe, which I like, so they'll look nice on my shelf. So super excited to try those out. And finally in this haul, so I have some sunscreens that I am super excited to try out. So I have these three right here, two Korean brand sunscreens like K-Beauty and then this one from Beauty Bio. Again, this is in the same scent and this is the 4-in-1 Perfecting Silk Broad Spectrum SPF. So this is just, again, a sunscreen, which I'm excited to try. So I have the Make Prem Protect Your Skin From The Sun. This is SPF 50 plus pH plus. I'm super excited to try both of these mostly just because of the consistency. So for the Make Prem, this actually has more of a matte finish sunscreen consistency, which is amazing. I love me a matte finish, especially under foundation. And one of those things kind of with sunscreen, at least for me, that I don't like is how sticky and kind of thick and goopy it is, but this is supposed to be really, really thin and also, again, matte finish. So super excited to try this and I've heard nothing but good things. And then this is the Claire Soft Airy UV Essence and this is the Soft Weightless Invisible Daily Sunscreen that goes. And this is also SPF 
50 plus P H A E E E E A A A A. But super excited to try this just because this has more actually of a gel consistently formula, which I haven't seen in a sunscreen. Comment down below if there's any other sunscreens that kind of have more of a gel consistency. So I did try this once so far, and I really was a fan of the consistency. I love it. And this also has niacinamide in here, which is amazing. I did try this, and I'm not sure if it was breaking me out. I had mentioned in another video, but my skin is now really calming down. So now we can get in and incorporate one product at a time for these reviews but super excited especially for these two get your spf in it's important and it's one of the biggest things to help with acne because you can do all these things but with all these chemical exfoliants and stuff into to the sun get me some sunscreen it was much louder than i thought so sorry but that is it for this video and this skincare haul. Please let me know down in the comments below once again which product you want me to review first or your favorites. If you have tried any of these products, I would love to know and see kind of your take on it and if anything is worth it, especially this retinol. We're gonna see because and if you enjoy more content like this in regards to skincare or makeup for acne prone skin, you can go right here where I have various makeup and foundation recommendations for acne. Or if you click one of these videos here, you can binge on some more skincare content where I've done other reviews and routines. So I will see you in one of these next videos.